Hi, this is Marty with Sumner One. Today we're going to set up scan to email on a Kyocera Task Alpha series. Open up the internet, acquire the IP address of the copier, and enter that IP address here. You might get a message that says your connection is not private. Click on advance and then proceed to the site. Once we're here, we'll have to log in as an administrator, contact your IT support team or a Sumner One service representative to get this information. Then we'll log in. Once here, click on network settings and then protocol. Scroll down till you get to the send protocols and turn SMTP email on. Next, for security, make sure you choose this Start TLS. After you do that, you'll have to go to the bottom to submit these settings. Once this is done, we'll scroll back down to Send Protocols. We can see these did stick. Now we'll click on Email Settings. Here, we're going to enter the SMTP server, and we used Gmail as our example here. This may be different depending on what service you use, Office 365, in-house, email server, for Gmail, smtp.gmail.com. Port number, I like to use port 587. Extend this timeout if you see it's only at about 10 seconds. And then authentication protocol will have to turn this on. Turn authenticate as to other. And here we'll enter the user login name, which is the email account that we've created. After you enter the user login name, enter the login password. This will be an app password that you'll create. We'll show you in the description of this video how to acquire that. After you enter that login app password, then scroll down here to email settings, send settings, and you'll enter that sender address again, the same one that we used above for our Gmail account. After that, you'll click on Submit. Now's a good time where I can show you this test option here. If this is all set up correctly, we can click the test button to see if it acquires the connection. At this point, you might get an error so there's some other things that we can try. One is to change the port number. You might try 465, submit that. The other thing that we could try, back under protocol, down to send protocols, we can try a different security. Try the SSL option, and then submit that. So I like to use port 465 with SSL, and if I'm using TLS, I'll use 587. If this still fails, it might be time to place a service call. It might be something as easy as a remote fix from one of our service representatives. Thank you.